Hello and welcome back. Uh, I've got a Lenovo uh, IdeaPad 3 15 ITL 6. No power, totally dead. And as you can see, that we have an instant short here. Right, okay. So let's try and find out what's uh, what's cooking and where it's cooking. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the thermal imager. So let's plug in the DC jack. Here we go, one, two, three. You can see there's a short there instantly. But let's see if we can spot a hot spot. Right, so I've got two hot spots, one on the right and one on the left, okay? And I have two areas where there is a short. This is the primary and the secondary MOSFET on the input of the 19 volt here. So let's, there's two areas that is, 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 uh, is finding a hot spot, right, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the alcohol test under microscope now to try and establish which is the problem. The primary side of the 19 volt from the DC power supply. So there's a DC power supply coming in. We're gonna sort of spray a bit of alcohol onto these two components and see what happens as soon as I turn the bench power supply on. So there's a hot spot on that. So we can see that that MOSFET is getting cooked, but that may not be the reason why we have alcohol evaporating. So let's move on to this area. And there was an issue here somewhere. Oops. I think I know what's going on. I think a capacitor is actually pooped here. This, that's the area that I put reasons to believe. So let's turn the power supply back on. Yes. Right, so it's a capacitor that's pooped and you can see in the middle. Just about make out that look at that. It's got a hole in the middle. Right, so my guess is this capacitor is on the 19 volt rail, which is why, and it's shorted, which is why it's pulling down the 19 volt rail immediately. Now, one thing to remember that when you're using power supplies, laptop original chargers, they have a protection circuit, which will stop uh, the charger sending any further voltage into the board just just for you know fire hazards and safety aspects of, of, of for the for the consumers so let's remove this component and see what happens all right so the component has been removed Right, the components has been removed from the board. Let's try and see if the if the primary side, the second primary side MOSFET is shorted to ground also. So we'll find out, but definitely that was the capacitor. So let's plug that in. Wow. The board is plugged in here and it's booting. Okay, so I think we're in a win-win situation. Laptop's been put back together, so let's power it on. We should get a uh, instant uh, logo and it should boot up as well. I'll plug in the power supply. If I can find the port. And we have a battery charging symbol here. Okay, so yep, this was a Winner, um, yes, I am hiding customer's email address. All right, there we have it. So it is doing what it should be doing. Laptop's fixed.
Thank you very much, and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Peace.